Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today in part 2 of the flight simulator tutorial. In the last video what we did was we imported our model and we configured it and we set up its physics. In this video we're going to be setting up an animator controller. So what you want to do is in your project folder, create an animator controller, call it something like flying dino or bird, whatever it is you're using should be fine. Then open your animator tab, then go to your models animations. You're going to want to get the idle animation and just set that there as the base animation. That's going to be the animation when he's not flying, not walking, when he's just on the ground doing nothing. And we're going to want to get the walk animation. Set that one there too. And if you're using my model you're going to want to set another walk animation. And if you're using a different model, you want to set its running animation instead. But if you're using mine, just change the name to run. And change the animation speed to 2. And then you want to get your flying idle animation. And when, she's, when he's flying without moving, just flying. Then the flying forward animation. And then the flying fast animation. Which in this case, is going to be called soaring. Alright, now we're going to want to create some parameters. I'm going to create a float called walk. Create another float, call it run. And then create a bool, call it flying. Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to want to create our transitions from idle to walk. We want to make that transition if walk is greater. 0 0.01 and going back it's going to be if walk is less than 0 0.01 and from walk to run we're going to set that if walk is greater than 0 0.01 and run is greater than 0 0.01 and going back we're going to set it walk is greater than 0 0.01 and run is less than 0 0.01 all right going from idle to flying idle it's going to be if flying is true going back it's going to be if flying is false now from walk to flying it's going to be if flying is true and walk is greater than 0 0.01, going back, it's going to be if flying is false and walk is greater than 0 0.01. Going from run to soaring, if flying is true and run is greater than 0 0.01, going back. Flying is false and run is greater than 0 0.01. Alright, from flying idle to run or to flying. Pretty much these are the same parameters as on the side. It's just one is when you're when you're on the ground, the other is when you're flying. So from flying idle to flying, it's gonna be a walk greater than 0 0.01. Going back is gonna be if walk is less. 0 0.01 from flying to soaring it's going to be if run is greater than 0 0.01 and walk is greater than 0 0.01 and then going back it's going to be if walk is greater than 0 0.01 and run is less than 0 0.01 all right now that we have our animator controller, we will be seeing you in the next video where we write these scripts for these.